why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Therefore let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. If you want to be just in your judgments on people, you should always listen to the other party and not take facts from one side only. Everyone has the right to explain his situation. He has also the right to defend himself against all accusations. We should not pass a judgment on anyone by just listening to what has been said about him. Maybe the one who talked against him did not see for himself or he from a trusted source. Or maybe he misunderstood the matter. He could have also added to what he heard, his personal comments and speculations. These could all be wrong and there are circumstances that he does not know. If a woman says that her husband treats her badly, ask her, Why? What have you done to deserve such treatment? Then ask the other side, What happened? Why? And so you form a complete picture about the matter and would have listened to both parties. Imagine God himself who knows everything, asking Eve, Adam, and the serpent before passing his judgment. He also asked Cain. He gave the other party the chance to talk for himself, explain his situation, and defend himself if he wanted. Asking the other party is not meant only to know the truth, with all its sides, or to know the circumstances and reasons. Asking the other party could give him a chance to apologize or correct his situation and work out the results of his action, adding understanding to his own. When Abigail spoke to David, she gave him a chance to change his mind and not to revenge for himself. You have kept me from coming to bloodshed and from avenging myself with my own hand. He confessed saying, I have sinned against the Lord. In your relationship with people, try to understand the other party even if he opposes you. Understand his point of view, his mentality and his psychology. You'll then know how to deal with him. Do not always look to the other party as an enemy. Try to study his point, understand him and reach a solution in love. Stay with us and let's look at the following poem. The way we affect others. We may not always realize that everything we do affects not only our lives, but touches others too. A single happy smile can always brighten up the day for anyone who happens to be passing by your way. And a little bit of thoughtfulness that shows someone you care creates a ray of sunshine for both of you to share. Yes, every time you offer someone a helping hand, every time you show a friend you understand, every time you have a kind and gentle word to give, you help someone to find beauty in his precious life we live. For happiness brings happiness, and loving ways bring love, and giving is the treasure that contentment is made of. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, help me live from day to day 
in such a self-forgetful way that even when I kneel to pray, my prayer shall be for others. Help me in all the work I do to ever be sincere and true and know that all I do for you must needs be done for others. And when my work on earth is done and my new work in heaven's begun, may I forget the crown I've won while thinking still of others. Others, Lord, yes, others. Let this motto be, help me live for others that I may live for thee. Amen. Thank you.